like to talk to you today about some of the typical post-operative concerns or worries that you maybe have having at this phase as you are approximately now two weeks post total hip arthroplasty. Hopefully the incision is healing well at this point in time. You should have had a regular dressing that was removed after seven days. At this phase, you may be using more of what's called an island dressing. If that has healed well, the incision does not have any type of drainage or seepage of any kind. And as long as your pant line doesn't seem to be rubbing or irritating the incision, you can actually stop the bandage and go without that at this phase. Um, if you do feel like it's, it's, it's more comfortable or the waistline or pant line is rubbing against the, the uh, incision area, then go ahead and use that island dressing for another two to four weeks. Hopefully the incision is healing well. Ideally you may see some crusted or scabby looking type of drainage. That's simply blood that's kind of somewhat involved within the glue. We try to use a cosmetic closure which brings the skin edge together. Uh, the suture under the skin dissolves so we do not have to take any sutures out uh, and then that'll heal from this point out. If you had some type of a wound vac such as a Provena or a Pico, uh, you may have staples or sutures under that wound vac, that would come off in two weeks and we will have made arrangements prior to surgery to take that out and see you in the office or somebody from the home health or home PT venue will do that for you. As far as activity goes, early on, we like for you to certainly follow the exercise regimen in our pre-op book. Certainly if you have therapy that's coming to you, follow their guidelines in regards to what you can and can't do at this phase. However, the exercises and simply if you have a place where you can get out walk that's fairly flat and safe. It's one of the best things you could possibly do at this phase. As time goes on and we get further into the post-operative phase, we'll start incorporating a little more activity. However, early on, the, the regular exercises that you've been given and just a general walking program will be, will be wonderful in regards to get you started. Issues that you may be having in regards to you know, the specific to the surgery, we do talk about not cutting through muscles and tendons and nerves. However, there is a lot of tugging and pushing and pulling that we do to to get to the hip joint. So muscle soreness, stiffness, tightness, any or all of the above in the groin, the thigh, even the low back and buttock is really typical at this phase. That gets better, but that's something that we deal with you here early on. Um, even the contralateral leg sometimes as it's doing a lot of the work will be a little more sore. The other thing that we run into, similar to the musculature, is that there is a nerve that supplies the skin. It runs from the crest to the hip, just below the knee not quite midline on the thigh, but just to the outside of the thigh, uh, can be numb, tingly, asleep, any or all of those kind of things. On occasion, it can be really angry. So I've also heard the adjectives burning raw and on fire. Um, hopefully that's not the case, but that is not uncommon early on, and that will gradually recede with time. So overall, uh, it varies in how long it takes for that to calm down. Uh, again, just for peace of mind, the numbness, tingling uh, sensation of the skin is normal. It is a skin nerve, so it will not affect your strength, will not affect your range of motion, but it is a really odd, un unnerving sensation, so to speak. The other thing that you'll run into is just endurance. So typically early on, due to a number of things, the stress from surgery, anesthesia, medication, overall endurance, uh, you know, will be down. So you will get tired quicker than you may expect to. Pick your battles, take rest when you can rest, exercise when you can exercise, but ultimately those all will improve as well. For the most part, the restrictions that we have in place for the first three months are simply nothing impactful. So you can walk, even if you want to incorporate a little early stationary bike, those kind of things at the guidance of your therapist, that's fine. Uh, no hopping, jumping, running, impactful type activity. Most of you at this phase do not feel like that anyway, so that uh, goes hand in hand with where you're at in your recovery. Um, and then the other thing is just heavy lifting. We don't want you doing anything that's gonna strain the musculature around that incision. So anything that's heavy or awkward, we want you to avoid. If you can lift it with your arms easily, perfectly fine. Uh, but just avoid anything that you may have to strain that area, the musculature in and around the incision. Um, other than that, uh, we have an appointment, I believe, here set up uh, at the six-week post-operative mark where we will see you in the office. We will take some x-rays, look at your incision. Uh, but if you have any questions, concerns, worries beforehand, please give the office a call. We can always get you in sooner. So I hope you're doing well. And please, again, don't hesitate to call us if you have any issues.